If I can expend eight hours less to have one hour of impact in the world, that's a huge gain. And technology is what delivers that type of gain. One of the key pivotal events for me was putting down on a piece of paper some of the early observations that I had had when I first became a CIO in the nonprofit arena. If we work together, we can bring technology out to the front lines of where we work more effectively. And if we work more closely with corporations as a group, we can be much more effective in our partnerships. That's the original idea for NetHope. In the hours immediately following a disaster, if the people that we have in the ground have survived that disaster, and they can immediately start gathering information and assisting people. The immediate next thing they need to do is they need to call in relief supplies. And if you don't have a high speed communications link, you're cut off. The change that's happening is that now beneficiaries who often have cell phones not only are able to receive information directly, but they can also then feed us back information, say this is what we need, this is what we see, this is what the situation is. And if you think about it, you know, in business terms, most organizations in the last decade or two have wrestled with how to make supply chains more effective. And in a relief or development program operation, and even in conservation operations, you know, having the citizens at the front lines be able to participate in that chain is a key opportunity. If we look back across the last 10 years and we talk about the impact that this collaboration NetHope has meant, you know, it encourages us to look forward to the next 10 years. Remembering that human side of technology, I think, is one of the things that we've come back to again and again because it reminds us that in the face of the darkest hour of humanity, there is an opportunity for the brightest hour of humanity.